perfect day. <laughs> I won my perfect day in Disney World and I'm taking you along with me. Let's go, baby! Yeah! Woo! What does your phone say? Don't look at that. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay, let's that's for Let's them. start at the beginning. Okay, it's early. We are right here at Rope Drop and it's saying 15 minutes for the Tower of Terror. And I'm so excited. And it's so chilly and cold, but we're so excited because so I love a cold day in Disney World. And it's, well, and it's, it's my perfect day. It's your perfect day. day, so this makes sense. It's like the weather new. This is going to be the best perfect day that has ever perfect day. I think it might. So everyone needs to bring the good vibes. No, and I think so. if it's not so. a perfect day, Cassie might hurt me. No, it's going to be perfect. It's perfect. And honestly, I'm not. If it's just you, Cassie, do what you need. <laughs> the Tower of Terror is a drop tower attraction uh, inspired by Twilight Zone. It's more of a pull tower attraction because Imagineers wanted you to fall quicker than the weight of gravity. So you're actually being pulled up and down. And the drops are randomized, so you never know what you're going to get. Spooky. Okay, we made it inside. I don't. That was definitely not 25 minutes. Uh, we got in line. It's, it's now 9:40, so I, that was that was. 15. We came in a little late. Yeah, yeah it was 15. So I'll take that. Not bad. not mad. And I can't believe that I want to do this. This is how I'm starting my perfect day. I feel like we really have represented growth together. Yeah. We've seen a change in me. Oh, Belle. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what we've never talked about what? is the the husband and wife uh, who were trapped in the Twilight Zone, the Tower of Terror. They seemed really irritated with each other. I mean, you know, marriage problems. Like what happens? Love has its issues. What, their marital problems. What? There, there, there's some. There's something going on there. Yeah. Well, she's a diva, and he's a um, almost said philanthropist. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> what is? It? Yeah, and a diva and a philanthropist never, <laughs> never work. And then at one yeah. point, which I don't think it's ever oh, happened to me before, but we came to the very bottom, then a window the crashed end, again. The screen. Yeah. yeah. And then we shot all well, the we way back the up. We that was also, wild. There was a first timer on our ride, which is always really fun. Because yes. it's good to see someone face their fears. Yes. I love when it's a little kid, because it's yes. like, you did it. And they're so excited. Even if they didn't like it, they're still so excited that they tried it. Yeah. So it was really fun. And normally, we would continue a rope drop with coaster, but it's down right now. So I'm taking us to breakfast. Ice cream. What? Ice cream, what? Ice cream for breakfast? What? You've never had Scoops breakfast? <laughs> if you know about Scoops, you might think that it's just ice cream, but in the mornings they have one breakfast item. One and it's my breakfast favorite item. breakfast Emma's item favorite ever. Breakfast item ever. And then also a little bit of Joffrey's coffee and hot chocolate. Joffrey's coffee's on the side. Da -da 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 Ask me for breakfast. That is the way. Yeah. Okay. That was really good. That was. That was. That was. That was, that was, that was, that was real. No. No. Listen. Either you're gonna vibe or you're not, Cassie. All right. Perfect day. I was gonna her. say it's a perfect day. We gotta. We gotta cut it. Okay. We might have been stressed for a minute, but the stress is gone because now we each have a platter of Mickey waffles. Okay. So here they are. It is three blueberry Mickey waffles, literally less than ten dollars or right at ten dollars. It comes with whipped cream and strawberries, and I love it so much. Am I your? I don't want a napkin. Thank you. You wanna come and sit with us, Cassie? Gonna eat. As a family? Yeah, of course. As, as a family. family. So I personally oh, I like to. We're all in the shot. Yeah. Right. I like to go crazy. I want whipped cream, strawberries, and syrup on top of my Mickey waffle. Everyone. The syrup is Wait, a you that was Everything. Like, no. Really? Everything. This day is about perfection and indulgence. Wait, so you're sitting. Hand me that phone. You gotta see what she's doing over here. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Look hold at on. That. That's a Delicious. very sugary, sweet breakfast. If you want, to, mm. if you want something savory. I would go for a Ronto. morning rant and yeah. rant wrap. Which I almost always do, but that's why I'm mixing it up. Um, this is what I like to do. Look, ready? You just pour the syrup <gasps> in the ears. The earbuds. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. And then they're just like little like 
then you can just like eat it as is. You're like, yeah. hmm. He can't hear you! <laughs> What's fun about these is you can find mini Mickey waffles around the resort, but this is one of the only places you can find blueberry. It might yeah, be the only place. As far as I'm aware, it's the only place you can find blueberry. And a lot of times the parks themselves do not have them unless you're yeah. at a table service. You so. might find, depending on like the time of year or you know if it's a holiday, sometimes they bring out red velvet, mini mm -hmm. Mickey waffles, other places. Kate May has mini waffles. Sometimes they have churro mini Mickey waffles. Oh my gosh. Good. Have you ever had it? This is your first time? Wait, really? You look no, shocked. No, oh. it's just that like, because, oh my goodness, look at the inside of that. No, it's so good. Yeah, it's, it's because very good. It like had time to soak in that mm -hmm. whipped cream, so it was kind of so moist. I love a waffle. I'm a waffle person over a pancake person. Simba waffle or Mickey waffle? Mickey. Sorry, Simba. <laughs> you, don't even hold, you don't even hold a candle. You don't even, Stitch waffle at Ohana. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna say Mickey. Yeah. Okay, so we got Mickey waffle, Stitch, Stitch, Stitch waffle. waffle. Simba waffles. I'm so glad we had that talk. Oh, no. Simba doesn't even we have a dad, so. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Emma, I love that you're having the most perfect day right now with your waffles mm -hmm. and <laughs> all that. But um, our lightning lane for Slinky ends in 10 minutes. So it's time to eat on the run. It's okay. time to eat on the run. What are you the most excited about today? I'm just excited to hang out with y'all. Emma, what are you the most excited about today? The Percy Jackson preview. This... We're not going to do it yet because we have to make it for the lightning. It's pretty fun. It's such a niche vibe. It's my perfect day. <laughs> it's not niche. Percy gonna... Jackson is for everything. everywhere. It is everywhere. All right, we made it. Slinky Dog Dash currently 90 minutes, but we have Lightning Lane. Slinky Dog Dash is a family coaster attraction where you hop on the back of Slinky yes. and you uh, yes. coast you around and you dash and you dash all over Andy's backyard. Uh, it's definitely something we uh, recommend either rope dropping or riding at, uh, at night because it's gorgeous at night. I think it's a step above Seven Doors Mine Train but lower than Big Thunder Mountain. Totally agree. Okay, we have to be honest. Today, we're actually here with a couple of people who are off screen. Uh, one of them who is going to be joining the team at some point. Uh, so it's kind of a soft launch for her. And she's really a soft launch. And uh, she actually has, uh, she, she's a Disney expert, but hasn't been to Disney in over 20 years because she lives out of state. And she, we prepped her, prepped her for Tower of Terror because she was, freaking out about it, so nervous. What did she say about Slinky she Dog Dash? new thrill ride has dropped. Slinky Dog Dash is apparently the most thrilling ride in Hollywood Studios. She called Tower of Terror a joke. a joke, comparatively, which is crazy to me. What a wild hot take. This is very interesting because here's the thing. If it's your first trip to Disney World soon, or maybe you haven't been in a long time, things change around here super, super much. Yes. So you can do all the studying, you can watch all the All Ears YouTube videos, you can read all of the blog articles. Once you're actually here, you're going to have completely surprising experiences to you. Everybody's body that is was different. One of them. Yeah, everybody's body is different, and you might react to different things, but I think calling Tower of Terror a joke <laughs> compared to Slinky Dog Dash is wild. I think what we decided is I think we are going to play this morning and this like early afternoon a little safe. It's kind of a busy day today. So I think we're gonna just like chill out, chill out. And I think we're gonna do some fun for lunch and we're gonna stack a whole bunch of lightning lanes that way tonight. It's, we're just gonna be like go, Hollywood go, Studios go. Ride easy, Central. Easy, beautiful Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios girl, Pepper girl, <laughs> wink. No way. Oh. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Look at that photo. I mean, honestly. I think perfect day. I don't think I've ever taken a photo with a man. Maybe no. one time with you. And I love her, like, when, it, when it's cold, her hood. I know. I was she like, girl, so you're secretive. mysterious. I told her I wouldn't tell where she's at. I'll keep the secret. Okay, so I know that Sage said we're gonna take things a little bit slower, which is true, but I cannot be here without watching Muppet Vision 3D. 
so we're skipping everything else in this park right now <laughs> to do Muppet Vision. Is this your perfect day or this my is perfect day? Our perfect day. I'm gonna tell you about Muppet Vision 3D. Okay, if you want to get your world rocked, this is the attraction to go to. It usually doesn't have that long of a line. This is more of a um, show style attraction. You go through and you sit down and you watch kind of a screen with 3D glasses. Think Mickey's Still Her Magic if you've done that in uh, Magic Kingdom. But this has the Muppets, of course. And it is honestly a laugh out loud attraction. You may think you're not gonna enjoy it and you will leave with a smile on your face. We made it. Do, do I do I ever want a picture with Fozzie? Oh my gosh! I'm so excited! Oh, they've got their name tags on. Oh! Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is awesome. Fozzie deserves some more love. Yes, make sure you're sure. We're huge Fozzie fans in this house. Okay, so it's almost time to leave for lunch. We're not gonna do lunch here because it's my perfect day and I love popping out for some, I think, better food. I'll say it, right. some better food. But I really want to do one thing just for me. So if we could all just go towards One Man's Dream, that would be really incredible. I just, it'll be really fast. The, the peak moment of the video. This is my perfect day. <laughs> the gag is this is the only thing we're doing today. I'm asking you all to sit in One Man's Dream. I teased you by riding some rides and we're not leaving. You know what I love? What? A mini model. <laughs> I, I love, love a mini model. That's why I love Fry. Oh. We finally made it to Walt Disney Presents. Walt Disney Presents is a, I would say, a, a small, a very small museum uh, for Walt Disney inside of uh, Hollywood Studios. AC is incredible. Yes. Well, the, that that is that is a that's actually like a fun fact that they have to keep the AC pumping because a lot of these artifacts they have to be temperature controlled. I want to show you my little favorite bit. Dude, What's your favorite bit? Oh my gosh. That was so neat. They're from 19, does that say 1932? That is so neat. There's also a meet and greet uh, all the way towards the back of here. Right now you can meet the live action Ariel from the live action Little Mermaid, uh, as well as there is a, a movie called One Man's Dream. It's a small documentary narrated by Julie Andrews. It's wonderful. It's wonderful, we cry every time. Uh, it's just about, it's a small documentary about uh, Walt's early life and how kind of all this came to be and why it's here. I, I love all the Star Wars artifacts in here. Like um, C-3PO. Tiny tower of terror. Look at, look at him. That, no, not C-3PO. And then there's the Death Star. Oh, I love it. Leia looks good though. Leia does look good. Oh, just a Little Mermaid, uh, some costumes. We're not here for you, Little Mermaid. We've already seen him. We've already seen him. We're here for Percy Jackson. Would you like to spiel Percy Jackson at all? Percy Jackson is a series of books that came out actually a really long time ago. A long time ago. I was reading them in elementary school. I was school. reading them in fourth and fifth grade, and they are about a demigod finding out that all of it's real. And they're incredible and wonderful. And now it's a show on Disney+. Plus. And there also used to be movies, but don't watch the movies. Watch the show. <laughs> we have had a slow, like, really nice, peaceful morning. We've gotten two of my favorite rides. And actually, we're not even, for me, my perfect day is just like going casual. Yeah. And so I think we're going to leave. We're leaving? We're, we're leaving this because. Is like, this is like whenever you have like a five day Disney vacation, this is day five. This is day five. This is like, this is. Everybody might need a nap. Day. You're not like, yes. go, 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 go. Yes. Break from the crowds. Just and just to, honestly, I'll say it, just some better food. Sure. So we're going to go and we're going to grab at one of my favorite spots that you probably already know where we're going. In defense of Hollywood Studios food. I love Studios food. I love Studios food. But we just had it a lot. We to show you something a little, yeah. a little different. We want to mix it up. Now, I want to be clear. I was against this. He was against this. Uh, why? Because the Skyliner is currently down at the time of it filming. It is. 
and now it's going to make it 10 times harder to get there. We're making choices. We're making choices. <laughs> but I am excited. So we're going to do it. And here, at, here we're at a bus station. Bus station. <laughs> 25? Yep. All right. <laughs> Most of the time, if you're at Epcot and Hollywood Studios and you're staying at a Skyliner Resort, you can just take the Skyliner. Or if you're not staying, you can use it to travel to the other parks or to visit other resorts. However, whenever it is down, you will take a Disney bus, which is pretty much the situation for the other parks too. You can take a Disney bus to get to the other parks, to get to your resort. So just gonna walk out. They'll show you, it'll be easy to find. And on this little directory, you'll find the bus you take. So it's but look at the Skyliner. Look it at the Skyliner. It's barren and sad. It's barren and sad, and there's like a weird metal cage for them to fix things. Now, the hard part about buses, it might be a little bit of a time suck because uh, it can take anywhere from 15 to sometimes 40 minutes for your bus to show up, depending on how many stops they're making, how quickly the bus departs, all that jazz. So you might have to just allow some extra time if you're taking the bus. times on a perfect day with my friends. What good times would those be? No, seriously, where are you leading us? Just follow. <laughs> so we have officially made it to the Riviera Resort, which typically we would have taken a Skyliner, but at the time of filming, they're doing uh, planned maintenance. So now we're- Swimming. So now we're gonna go swimming. <laughs> this gold. So warm. This. <laughs> Every time I'm like in the front, I keep like, I'm like, let's go. No, she's so excited to be here. So excited to be here. That's kind of how I feel. Today is such a nice Saturday. Yeah. My friends. You know, there's one person missing. Well, Movie Under the Stars, I wonder what they're playing. Wait, what's today? Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. That is my favorite. That's what Friday watched when we stayed. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. So for me, one of my favorite things in the world is resort dining around Disney World. That's why I wanted to come here. If we were here a little bit later, I probably would have done three bridges over at Coronado Springs. Um, but I think that that's one thing that a lot of people skip over that you really should not be skipping over and it's perfect for me and my perfect day. Why Bar Riva? Like, why did you drag us all the way out here on, on a bus? I like the vibes. I love the food because it's it feels healthier, but it's also very tasty. I like the sangria here, and also it's near Le Petit, so kind of two birds, one stone. So we're getting coffee today, is what you're saying? Listen, if the all ears pass is like within like five miles, miles of La Petite Cafe, they will inevitably end up at La Petite Cafe. It's true. So I'm just kind of, I love it here. When it comes to resort dining, which one's your favorite? Go. Resort dining? I mean, I love Ohana and Tandy Lounge. Fair. 
and can I pick any? Any, anything. Uh, I'm a big fan of Coronado Springs, Three Bridges, and also I love the Dolly Lounge. Ooh, that's a good one. I also said Three Bridges. Oh, did you? Yeah. Solid. Yeah. I ended up going with the white sangria. How would you compare it to your homemade sangria? Significantly better. <laughs> <laughs> no I did not make the best sangria. Here. So I typically am someone who gets a Manhattan because I'm bougie. Uh, but because Bar Riva, I decided to you know get one of their uh, specialty cocktails. Because we're trying all the things here. So I actually got the pineapple mule. Uh, and that was uh, a small batch of whiskey, ginger bitters, pineapple juice, ginger beer, and mint. Oh. Absolutely. It just screams like like a whiskey vacation drink. Disney drinks in general, a lot of them happen to be pre-mixed. If you ever see a, a big mixer in the back, they're typically, you know, pouring everything into the jug at the beginning of the day and then just kind of, it's not really made to order. Uh, but Bariva, all the drinks, except for the pina coladas and their strawberry daiquiris, they're all made to order. And so, and I can taste it too. Uh, you can taste the bitters, you can taste the, you can, you can definitely taste the small batch whiskey, which I appreciate. Um, uh, and then just a little, a hair of mint. But honestly, so good and definitely something that I would imagine myself sitting by that pool and just like lounging the day away. Okay, so off of the non-alcoholic beverages section on the menu, I actually got the hibiscus coconut refresher. So this is hibiscus, coconut, honey, strawberry, and soda water for $5.99. The name fits, it's definitely really refreshing and really sweet, but in a very light way. I'm definitely getting a lot of hibiscus and honey. I want to compare it to a pink drink from Starbucks, but it's definitely very different. It's more, it's lighter and a little bit more floral because of hibiscus, but I actually really like this. I got the spicy Italian sandwich, which is sliced capicola, salami, ham, provolone. This one is seared salmon with a tavanon and lemon orzo on the base. I got the bacon cheddar burger. This is a signature blunt burger with bacon, aged cheddar, shredded lettuce, tomato, and aioli on a toasted brioche bun, which I'm really excited about. Served with Romano and herbed French fries, and this is what Emma has been stealing from my plate. I've eaten a lot of them. I'm really sorry. I love this so much. The salmon is always seared to perfection. It has a nice crisp on the top, but it really is still flaky and flavorful. The lemon orzo is so nice because that acidity really ties in well with the saltiness of the fish. I really also love that there is like tomatoes and there's some garbanzo beans and even some spinach in here. And the spicy Italian sandwich. Anytime Disney says spicy, it typically is going to be like a, a, a more of a flavorful spice than actually like a heat spice. Um, and it's definitely, it's definitely a lot of spices. You can taste spices. It's not spicy, but you can taste the spices. Uh, I also love this, like this fun vegetable slob. Definitely give it like an earthy feel. I think from now on I will always have uh, Italian on ciabatta bread. Uh, it's, it just... It's just so good, and it takes it, ele it ele elevates the entire sandwich. But overall, uh, a solid meal. And I and I, because it's a sandwich, I don't feel like I'm going to be super heavy going back to Hollywood Studios. I'll be able to, you know, be agile, maybe dance around. I don't know. Oh my god, okay, but that was a good crunch. The bread. You heard that? Yeah, it sounded really nice. And the lettuce. I think that's a pretty tasty just, burger. Just I think the burger meat's not the most clean. aggressive yeah, meat. Put it, put it, it is cooked mostly well done. I didn't make any special requests. I think I prefer something a little bit more rare, but it's nice. I think the best aspect of this burger is the brioche bun and just something really exciting with the aioli where it kind of like melts together. And I like the, the crunch of the bacon and the lettuce. It's like really nice texture. I know Emma likes to talk about I texture. I love a good texture. Who just Look who decided to show up. Hi, hello. Hello. What are you doing here? I just thought that you obviously couldn't have a perfect day if I wasn't here. That's you know, true. You know. Why do you sound like you've been up all night? Because I haven't been up at all today. <laughs> <laughs> I was in bed until I got out of bed to come here. That's smart. Well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we've got a straggler. We're leaving. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh. Well, you're the straggler. You yeah. just kind of strolled in randomly. <laughs> because we're here, we have to get Le Petit, right? Yes. All right, here we are. Le Petit Cafe, our favorite cafe and coffee spot in all of Disney World. We can get some incredible bites here. You can also get some good pastries, and it becomes a bar at night. But for us, fun. we're just here for the coffee. Iced coffee. Yeah, we've not had coffee today. Me neither. <gasps> 
gone nuts. We've never gone this long. We're about to head to a Disney bus. Almond cold brew. Almond. Uh, no, sorry, not that. Vanilla latte iced. Almond cold brew. And the other redhead also got a vanilla latte iced, but with oat milk, and she's gone. So, cheers. Are you cheers. here? Cheers. 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 Look how crazy. We're trying to hang out without me again. To continuing the perfect day, the, or Emma's perfect day. It feels like my birthday. <laughs> This is awesome timing. We walked up right at uh, 2.39, it's at 2.41, and the bus just showed up. This doesn't happen often. My car is at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. We got really lucky, though. We didn't have to wait on the bus this time. We walked up, and it was ready. A bus to ourselves that's purple. Yes! Score! Okay, we finally made our way back and it's actually been perfect timing because it is almost time for our Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Lightning Lane because Lightning Lanes are a little bit later today. So we've had our perfect lunch and now we're gonna go on one of my favorite rides. Okay, here we go. We're gonna hop into Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now this one, when it first opened a few years ago, was semi-controversial because if you're anything like me, you really love the great movie ride. So it was pretty sad to see it go. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. all I wanted to do when I grew up was be a person was, on the great movie was ride. Was be a gangster yes. on the great movie ride. Oh, I wanted to be a host. Oh my gosh, can we recreate it together? Yes! Sorry, proceed. A journey into the movies together. Aww. That sounds so nice. I'll be the outlaw. We can provide two different experiences. <laughs> oh, I like that. We have the whole team. We have the whole team. But I think we've always known that. Yeah. So I really respect it. But now, without the great movie ride, we do have Mickey and Minnie, and you can head into the perfect picnic with them. And it's a lot of fun. Goofy's going to take you on a train ride throughout the park, but then... Well, it's goofy. So things go a little crazy. It's not always what you think, but it's a lot of fun, and we're gonna hop in line right now. It was good. Was it perfect? It, I, it was, uh, honestly, okay, real I talk. Find Cassie. Yeah, we got off the ride and Cassie all of a sudden decided to go do her social media thing <laughs> and we lost her. So we have to find Cassie. But um, I miss a great movie ride, but Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, I think the tech is so cool. I think the tech is really cool. And also, I was kind of anti Mickey Minnie until someone pointed out that this is the only ride that Mickey Mouse, the founder of Disney, well, well, has. well Okay, sure. He yes. started it all. <laughs> he deserves more than just one ride. You're right. So I'll give it to him. Yeah, it's also, I do love the new Mickey Short. Why did I take my glasses for that? <laughs> you know, it's, it's real. I love the new We're Mickey We're getting shorts. real. <laughs> I, do, I do love the new, like, Mickey animated short style. Yeah, it's like the vacation fun kind of stuff. Just style. because it's more, like, sarcastic mm -hmm. and humorous and, like, dates back to, like, a Tom and Jerry, like, physical comedy situation. So I think yeah. it's fun. I love it. I think it's fun. Do I think you will be missing out in Hollywood Studios if you don't do it? Maybe not. But if you have the time, I think you should. But and it's my perfect day. But there's not a lot to do here. But lines get long. You're right. So, luckily we're using Genie Plus today, and now I will say, it's kind of my perfect day, and we always have the best time when we're together at Baseline. Yes. And I think Quincy's waiting on us at Baseline. She is, because she, she didn't have Genie She Plus. didn't. She made a cameo. So, we're gonna go find Quincy and find Cassie. Cassie? Uh, baseline, here we come. Uh -huh. Clearly, it is a pretty busy day uh, at Hollywood Studios. We've got a line all the way out the door. <laughs> With a little bit of sadness out here, <laughs> Baseline Tap House. We did find Cassie. Emma and Cassie are holding down the fort. So here at Baseline Tap House, you can get uh, a variety of different beverages, specifically uh, craft beers. That's kind of the thing. You can also grab some specialty cocktails. And it is actually a full bar, uh, but it is a limited full bar. So in case you're just wanting like a rum and coke or a whiskey ginger, you can do that, but it is still limited. And there's some small bites you can grab here as well, like... Um, a large Bavarian pretzel, charcuterie board, uh, different snacks. We made it to baseline. It's also because we it's found kind of Quincy. Oh. Thanks, Sage. Sorry. I got my usual hard orange cider. And Sage, what did you grab today? Oh. 
do 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 Steve. <laughs> um, uh, I like to show that, which is something that I just. <laughs> something that I just taught Quincy for the first time is that uh, this is an actually um, a full bar. It's a limited full bar, but you can get whatever you want. And just in case you don't want a, 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 sar- a cider or some of the specialty cocktails, so you can grab like uh, if you want a rum and coke or a whiskey ginger, which is what I grabbed. I just grabbed a normal whiskey ginger, which you can get a single or a double. But it is a full bar in case uh, you're not rolling with what they're putting on their menu. Cheers. You're really do, 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 Steve. <laughs> All right, friends, we traded one redhead for another. Quincy has headed home, but we found our favorite girl. It's very, very suspicious that you never see Quincy and I in the same place. I wasn't trying to imply something, but now I think I am. There's like 20 million videos of Quincy and I in the same place. <laughs> All green screen, edited. They've, they're the same person. It's also really interesting that you don't see me and the voice of Disney food blog, AJ, in the same room either. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. It's wild. <clears throat> hey, God. <laughs> I'm just going to do it out of this. We finally finish up here at Baseline, and I think next, I love a good sing-along. You have to watch some live entertainment if you're here in Hollywood Studios. So I'm feeling a little Frozen. A little Frozen sing-along. Fun fact, you can bring your drinks inside of Frozen. You can. Fun fact, my dad loves this experience. That's true. (laughs) Okay, we made it in. We're actually just a few minutes before the show starts. If you've never seen this one, essentially the Arendelle historians come out and they tell you all about the history of Arendelle. We still have, it's a busy day, and our lightning lanes uh, don't start uh, like literally for another hour, and it's five o'clock. Uh, so, we're gonna hop into Star Tours, which is randomly a 15 minute wait when the rest of the park is extremely busy. You hop into a Star Cruiser and you uh, literally go to different places, and it's super cool because it's all randomized. Uh, the beginning, middle, and the end, uh, it, they could have completely different uh, scenes. You could be running with Wookiees, you could be uh, running away from Darth Vader, or maybe even Kylo Ren, you never know. I like to call it the Big Shake box ride. I can't handle Kylo Ren. Fingers crossed for Darth Vader. Nobody even <laughs> asked if I enjoyed Frozen Sing Along. Did you enjoy Frozen Sing Along? I did. And it made me think of my dad and it made me sad and I wanted to cry a little bit but I held it in. Oh that's nice. My dad's alive by the way. <laughs> I think I made it sound otherwise. <laughs> Our manifestation circle, Emma, Emma, Emma. Emma. What's happening? Rebel spy, rebel spy, rebel spy, rebel spy, rebel spy, rebel spy. A vacation has everything under the sun. No one on this transport could possibly be a spy. This is the speeder we're looking for. Blast them. And neither can you. Okay, we just finished on Star Tours, and I will say that's the first time I've ever landed in Batuu. Yeah. I thought that was really Which cute. Which is because we're not currently in Batuu. I know. Well, okay, beggars can't be choosers. Listen, I, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of flack for saying I don't love Star Tours because um, because it's just like, it's, it's we have, we have Galaxy's Edge. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We have Galaxy's Edge, so I'm like, okay, you know, Star Tours is super necessary right now. I've gotten a lot of flack for it. I know that, I know. Okay. But okay. I, I do have some respect for Star Tours now. I do really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But 
the Batu thing, again, it weirded me out. I was like, I'm not in Batu. I think that beggars can't be choosers. And <laughs> everyone just enjoys Star Tours. Let me just say, okay? Hold on. Let me talk about this for a minute. Oh, oh, she's she's walking oh, away. She, no, she's asked for the camera. She wants her. solo let's, camera. Let's take a little trip down memory lane and talk about why Star Tours needs to be preserved as a historical site. <laughs> oh. I'm an MGM Studios girly. Yeah. I said it. I'm about MGM Studios. I'm about original Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And I like that little... Backlot vibe. I do too. Hollywood vibe, and so yes, it's not. In- yes, this park is a ragtag group of misfits. So what? So are we? I also, love a ragtag group I of misfits. To say all day. You can't argue. That this isn't a perfect day because if it, it's just a good day. Because if it was a perfect day, we'd be riding the great movie ride right now. As a as a OG Hollywood Studios man who, who, who uh, no no sorry as an OG MGM Studios okay. man who grew up at MGM Studios whose parents were in the Hunchback of Notre Dame show uh, uh, who uh, in the street atmosphere citizen, a citizen of Hollywood um, uh, stu- like trying to prove that Studio <laughs> Studio Five which was uh, the the pre show of Beauty and the Beast live on stage you know what wow. that is. Um, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So um, I am, but this, this, just the, the outside looks like a soundstage, but the inside, there is nothing about teaching us what it takes to create a Star Wars movie, which is what MGM Studios was all about. How do you make movies? It's still putting us in the middle of a movie, which then you can go put yourself even deeper into the movie, 400 steps that way. They don't build and statues of critics. They don't build statues of critics. And it's my perfect day, so I get the final say, and I love it, and it stays. <laughs> okay, we finished our Star Tours debate that was, like, weirdly pretty intense between the three of us. And now we were going to go to Rise of the Resistance, but it closed. So I think we're going to shop. <laughs> so let's go shopping. I don't know. I didn't know that I bought this, but I'm not upset I, with shopping so I far. I don't know about to play, which I don't think she knows what that is. I don't know what anything is. Well, the person who was here with us just referenced a cat song, but then said, you know that song from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we're off to a solid start, entertainment and shopping-wise. Uh, Somewhere no, Breed Love just felt like no, a disturbance Bre- in the <laughs> Breed Love did feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> you know that song from Rugrats in Paris. <laughs> 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 the Phantom of the Opera. I love Rugrats in Paris. <laughs> okay, we are back on Sunset, which we are going to be back here later tonight. But I am hunting for one thing while we're searching. It is Kermit related, and fingers crossed that we find it. I really hope that it works out, and we're going to check Beverly Sunset first. Okay, pals, I need, I'm recruiting you. You are my rebel spies. I'm looking for the Kermit Cuddles pillow. If you see it, please let me know. Oh, oh she already is on the move. You're a bad rebel spy. No, well, listen, Pick it up. All right. Now, one thing, if you are anything like me, one of the best parts is shopping on your Disney trip. It is just so much fun. I do recommend if you see something super specific, consider buying it in the park that day. A lot of people will go to Disney Springs at the end, <gasps> at the end of the day, but I don't recommend that because... Oh, I found it. You're such a good rebel spy. You you, he nailed it. <laughs> this is what you call a cupid. Don't you love it? I, cute. I am buying it. I'm so excited. Here we go. Squish him. Well, we already have our first purchase for a little shopping situation. There's a bunch of different shops. <laughs> There's stores all around. And frankly, I think this is an integral part of a Disney day or a perfect day. A little memento, if you will, <laughs> to remember your day by. I agree. Shall we continue? Of course. <laughs> we just got a second bag. We just got, we're doing a haul. We're doing everyone. a haul. We're doing a haul. Where is everyone? We lost them. That's another part of perfect day. You lose your family. That's okay. And that's okay. As long as you're all having fun and you have a spot to come back to, are you cold? A little bit. All right, let's, I, mean, I got my jacket. All right, let's, so. go, let's, go, let's go do our haul. Oh. Oh. Okay, we spent a lot of time shopping. We I'll did. be totally honest. The sun is like partially gone down. Do you want to start us off? No. Okay, I'll start because you already know what I got. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I did get the Kermit pillow and I'm very excited. And our friends who are off camera also got... The Monsters University hat. It's a good pick. And where, where is it? 
Chloe! Chloe. Hi. So not a bad start. I love it. Yeah. I have been eyeing this jacket for a hot minute. And I got cold. the Walt Disney World, a little like, it's almost, it's like faux leather zip up puffer. It's got pockets. It's cold. This will come in handy. It's fantastic. I also got something else. But like, look what she got to go with it. Like, this outfit, I feel like it's fire. Oh, Stay with me for a minute. This shirt, these leggings. With the puffer. With puffer. I'm obsessed with it. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, and y'all know me, I'm like such like a black and white like outfit wear. But like I've been eyeing this weird this Encanto thing. I love that. I know, and I, I love the message. What is it? Um Time to shine. Time to shine. That's so fun. I love all the Encanto music. I'm not like the biggest fan of it, like of the movie itself. Just because like I think it would do well in the Hyperion Theater in Disneyland because you can you can shorten it down to 45 minutes. But uh, I just I just love this shirt. I just love it. I feel very proud of our haul. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming along with us. We spent too much money. <laughs> Let's go write some stuff. Woohoo! Well, after our shopping spree, it's officially time for our lightning <laughs> lanes <laughs> at seven o'clock at night. Things are, it was a, it's been a crazy day, but it's been a fun day. It's been a great day. Uh, so we're headed to uh, Toy Story, um, Toy Story Land for Toy Story Mania to uh, battle it out in some serious competition. Here we go. Let's go. We made it to Toy Story Land. Time for some Toy Story Mania. If you get a chance to uh, walk around any Disney park at night, uh, it's a completely different experience. Uh, I always say that this is what the Imagineers uh, are built for you to see because of the, of the amazing lighting. Total immersion. Toy Story Mini is an arcade style game where you uh, ride a briskly moving rotating carnival tram through a wacky midway to play the Toy Story character's favorite 3D games. You are competing against the other people in your car. Let's find out who wins. All right, Emma. Yeah. Are you a 3D glasses on or off kind of girl? On. I have on too. I don't know what Quincy's on or off. Quincy's yeah. blind. I, I think so too. I think she doesn't have contacts. No, she does. Does she do contacts? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, does she wear them? Does she wear them? I'm a 3D glasses on kind of guy. I don't know what this off stuff is. I think it's crazy. it the way that the Imagineers intended. There we go. I, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Tip number one, don't play the practice round. But uh, still acquaint yourself with how, how you need to aim. Here goes nothing. All right, so I had like 185. Who had 192 or whatever? 193. Oh, wow. What a surprise. It really I lost another game yet again. It really is your Even best. Even on a perfect day, I still have to play games that I lose. <laughs> but um, it's not your perfect day. It's Emma's perfect I day. I win this one. So. I will say, it does make it harder if you're by yourself because you're not able to pop like the 500 balloons yeah, in order to get the thousand, so. I was also a little toasty in this, so I wasn't pulling as hard as I should have. Whatever, oh. make excuses. What are we doing back? Tower Lynch! <laughs> okay, um. Nothing like a double tower on a Saturday night. You wanna? If it's your favorite ride and you don't wanna wait for it a long time, if you wanna do it twice, Rope drop it and then get a lightning lane for it. So we're do doing we're doing Hollywood Tower Hotel, the Tower of Terror, twice in a day. Who are you? Um, I'm new, mature, grown up. Clearly. So, so we're gonna do ta the Tower of Terror twice. I'm so excited. I've never wanted to do it this much, so I'm really embracing that. Woo! And it's a completely different view because it's daytime versus nighttime. nighttime. So let's go. But it's coaster is down. So I normally would have probably used this for coaster. Smugglers run, all of the lightning lanes are gone by lunch. And I don't really want us to single rider it. 
Ri Rise the Resistance is still down. Rise of the Resistance is still down. Fingers crossed on that one. And I'm just not... Sorry, Drive. I'm not interested in any Tony's Oscars. Ah, Frema is dead. No. You heard it here first. Frema's dead. Always left to Vader. I'm going left to Vader. All right. What if we went right, right of Vader and you just went left by yourself? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm just saying you that would, that would be crazy. Oh, scared. you're right. I'm certain. No, I'm not scaring. I'm saying, wouldn't it be crazy if we took two different elevators? That would be pretty crazy. Why are you getting up on me? I'm just like kind of. You said I don't want to spend any more time with you. I hate you. Both. That's, that's you not. What, that's not what I said. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Your elevator has arrived. Wholeheartedly, it's been a long time since I've ridden the Tower of Terror at night because it's usually one of the first things we ride. Yeah. And it is pitch black. Yeah, it was more scary. Yeah, other than, other, oh, hi. <laughs> other than uh, the active, like, like, blinding light that they took for our picture. Yeah, that's true. It was, it was, it was crazy. I love, I love Tower at night. I think, That's I think Tower is slowly but surely becoming one of my favorites. I cannot believe I'm saying it, but me too. Yeah, I'm wild. Shocked. I've always been shocked. Wild. I've always been an OG at Tower stand. Okay, all right. Okay. All if, we're, right. if we're about to argue about who can like it more, I think I'll you, win. I think you win for sure. Take it, <laughs> take it. So I liked Tower of Terror before it was cool. Okay, no. all right. All right. <laughs> So we've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that there's no good news. I think there's good news. <laughs> I, I think he set news. that up really poorly. I did. So I need the selfie light. Get the selfie light. Get the selfie light. Selfie light. Selfie light. Okay, so um, Rise did go back up, but... It is so late in the evening that we are running the risk of not being able to do that and fantastic. So I think we're gonna go fan the fantastic route. That's it's my perfect day. And fantastic is my favorite. We all agreed to try it. Yes. So I think fantastic is the choice for us. But first, we need first we need to get something for Cassie and then something for everyone else. Yeah, we're, uh, because we still haven't eaten yet. So there's a snack stand at the, at the back room. We might get some corn dog nuggets. I know you want to get some ice cream, which is I crazy do. in this cold. I know. So chill. Is um, it in the 40s? Yeah, watch. this lighting is awesome. You know what's worse? That's worse. You want to hear a story? <laughs> You've just entered the twilight zone. <laughs> Okay, tell us what's happening. Oh, You're already going to goodness. town. I didn't even let y'all see this. <laughs> I just, I am a sucker for some classic ice cream. I don't care if it's 40 degrees outside. You can get a few scoops of ice cream with this like warm chocolate Mickey brownie. With looks like some with fudge. cream and hot fudge that's like, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. And the sprinkles add a nice little crunch. I just love this. I will eat this every single time. And oh, what are we in line for now? You and me forever. Yeah. What are we doing now? I'm getting hot. I'm getting a hot chocolate. So hot chocolate because maybe the ice cream was a bit of a decision. Yeah, I'm just preparing for like as I get cold. Yeah, I like okay. that. I it's pre-planning. All, All right. right. We got our hot chocolate situation. So it is a little bit of a DIY. You can grab a hot cocoa by Joffrey's Coffee. I'm mm -hmm. at Eddie's. They gave me my packets. I don't know why they gave me two. I, I know, like I that they that gave you two. Are they expecting you to fail? No, I think that they want you to have double hot chocolate, which I think is super fair. You can do a knife. Oh, she went fork. Okay. Our okay. high production. Okay. You've got, you got, um, there we go. Oh, do you see that? Oh, nice there it goes. We have a cup of water. We have our Joffrey's Classic Rich and Creamy Gourmet Hot Chocolate. Hot Chocolate. This is giving a sponsored by Joffrey's. It's sponsored not. I wish it was. It. We're gonna pour <laughs> this in. We're not gonna read the instructions because um, we're just gonna Ooh, we're just do it. Ooh, look it. at that. Hey, they got okay. it. Except Polar no, Express. Oh, no, they got oh, it. Ah, the light. We're gonna this give it a little. The soundtrack swirl. is so good. Oh. <laughs> 
dancing in the dark. <laughs> it's not looking as opaque as I'm hoping, but... I think that's why they gave you two. Do you think they, okay, like, went with two? This huh? light is... This is no, this is tough. Here we go. This is not... <laughs> oh! This is one cup. I think Six you need to use both. Maybe 12. Okay, huh? let's, let's just do just a taste test. Just a spoonful is it gonna of burn sugar. Me? Ooh, it's the chocolate. Wait, go, go down. down. The chocolate. We're going to go for the second. Go yeah. <laughs> We're going to pop this puppy back on. <laughs> and we're going to take a sip. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. I need help. <laughs> I can't breathe. <forget>. Delicious. <laughs> I gotta say, this is, this is pretty solid hot chocolate. And so sometimes during the holidays in American elementary school, they will have you watch the Polar Express and they'll make hot chocolate for the kids. And obviously, the budget's not that high. So they're making like a nice, just like community hot chocolate vat. That's what this is, but it's good for that reason. Oh, I like that though. I'll take that review. I've never had a community hot chocolate vat before. Yes, I have. definitely that, have. Oh, yeah. If you have ever gone to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you have hot chocolate comes yeah. from a that's hot fair. chocolate vat. No, you're right. That's fair. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, we are headed in. It's about 45 minutes before the show starts, and we are so glad that we're heading in because this crowd is a little bit larger than we anticipated. So I think we're pretty good and pretty happy with our decision to head in early. Typically, I would have said we should have gotten, you know, like a dining package or something uh, for this so that we would get, uh, you know, priority seating. But rides and other things were our priority. So uh, this is the first time in a while that I've actually waited for Fantasmic. Really? Yeah. I just did this last week. This is the thing about Fantasmic that nobody wants to tell you. Okay? Tell me. Have you ever heard of Disney Mania? Disney Mania? Yeah. Yes. Okay. For some reason, that's a really niche thing for a lot of people. They're like, I don't know. They play Disney Mania music during, like, the, the, the waiting and Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. And it is the best soundtrack Fantastic. on Disney property. Yeah. Will it change your vacation? No. But aren't you so glad it's there? That you heard it? Yes. And they've also veered us off to the side area, which means I think we're going to be, like, all the way on the side. That's okay. I think you get some very unique views off the side. Yeah. And we'll still cry no matter what. Yeah. Right, Goyles? Absolutely. Actually, it's not that crowded. Look at this. I am a little shocked. I am shocked. We could have but ridden I, Rise of the Resistance, guys. No, I'm happy it. with my choice. Never second guess yourself. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Also need to acknowledge, though, and something you guys need to remember, is we paid for Rise. We were making the choice not to go. But a lot of other people paid for Rise, and it was closed for a long time. So that means everybody else that normally would be staggered is all going right now. Yeah. So it definitely would have taken longer. The lightning lane probably would have been backed up. And that happens a lot when rides close. So, again. Let's be honest. What did you want to see? One of the most exciting attractions in Disney World? Or us trying to make hot chocolate? <laughs> I'd say probably the hot chocolate. I've done this recently, actually, uh, where I had to give up my uh, individual lightning lane. Uh, and literally, if, uh, if it's down all day and you're not able to make your individual lightning lane, uh, you actually can get a refund. You just have to visit the guest experience team and they will either give you a refund or sometimes they hook you up with some other things. So it's, this is the Disney mania you were talking about. All right, so we have, perfect day, we've got our corn dog nuggets. Emma has performed a miracle. She has found plastic cheese. There's a huge tip. Please get your seat before you get the snack stand because uh, you're gonna you're gonna lose they your seat. They let seats. you come back to your seats, but the snack stand signs are long. Absolutely. Uh, you can get you can get nachos. You can get corn dogs. Many churros. Many churros. You can even get uh, alcoholic beverages up there as well. Uh, but we opted for our our basically our our, our dinner. Yeah. A little corn dog nugget action. Little dinner. Little dinner. Now, instead of fries, though, you do get legs. So just be aware. Be, be aware. Uh, you ready for Fantasmic? I'm so ready. I was crying during the whole. Yes, the wave. The wave is happening. The wave is happening. The wave is coming. Yeah. We did it. I was going back. Go back, go back, go
fantastic. Yes. I did tear up. Did you? I did. Uh, I did. It's so good, and it's one of those like Disney classics, but also just feels new and fresh all the time. It is fantastic. Yeah, I always say it's my childhood served on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. I know you know this. I don't know if you know this. Uh, when I was a kid, I had the CD to Fantasmic, and I put a Aww. bed sheet up as a mountain, and I would play action figures. Like as if like they were performing fantastic. Like That's it was. Really it, sweet. I'm telling you, this is my childhood on a silver platter. I love it so much. We love it so much, and I think this ends any perfect day. You can't top it after this. Oh, that's. So I hope nice. you guys had so much fun. I had the best perfect day we ever. Had the, are you getting emotional again? Ever. No, I'll stop. Oh, group but hug. It was such a good group day. Hug. I had the best time, and I hope you guys had so much fun too. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch our full tournament, Game Master tournament, out on the channel now. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye.